Street T217 Point Blue to 73 Kawasaki Z1900. Hello, Cycle Drag Universe. This is a legend and an icon. You know, we love it. I'm sure you do too. It is the 73 Z1900, a groundbreaking motorcycle. You know, guys, we got to give Honda credit because it was really the CB750 that created the sport bike, the inline four. Well, if Honda created it, Kawasaki took it to a whole new level. This was the secret project dubbed the New York Stake. This was the fastest thing ever in 1973. It is a true piece of motorcycle history. That livery is amazing. Well, we're here at the Mika Motorcycle Auction in Las Vegas, and Mike Konopaki, one of the greatest motorcycle drag racers of all time, has brought this motorcycle down. It's one of six that he brought down from Canada. He's hoping it'll bring in $28,000. Hate to see the Pac-Man part with it, but Let's see what it will command in this market. Some have said the motorcycle market's crashing. Some believe certain bikes are still going up. Stick with me till the end and we're gonna find out. When Mike does a restoration, he's a stickler. He uses all NOS parts and that is what the high-end collectors want. There is a reproduction market out there. You can get a lot of stuff that looks original, isn't quite, that'll cost you less, but that's not what the high-end collectors want. There's 275s. This is a 1974 right here, and this is the crown jewel of the collection. This is the motorcycle that started it all, guys. Mike's hoping to get 25,000 for the 73 Z1. Some of you might be spitting out your coffee, but that is not unheard of. I think he's hoping to get about 20,000 for the 74 and 75s. An immaculate restoration, four immaculate restorations. We'll see how the Pac-Man can do here as he hits the auction block. Here with the fast Canadian, Mike Conabaggy. Mike, we're getting ready to roll across the auction block. It's go time. How excited, how nervous are you for these C1s? Uh, more nervous. We want to see them do really well. Uh, we're rooting for you big time. We want to see at least 25 out of 73, right? At least, yeah. At least. I'd like to see more. And hoping 24, 25 out of the other ones too? Yeah, that would, that would uh, be okay. Wish him luck, guys. Wish him luck. Oh, guys. Here we go. 465 unrestored original equipment body work, original tires as well. Yep. T217 point blown to 73 Kawasaki Z1900. Comprehensive mechanical and cosmetic restoration, original frame with matching number in running condition and a powder coated frame. Yep. Right. Wow. Good looking bike. 30. This is the Mike Connipaki collection, guys.
$1,000 yes, fight card back. Damn it, congratulations. Herbert, now offering T217.2, an 86 it, Suzuki GS 750 ES Sport Touring Edition, limited edition colors, adjustable Just suspension, no oh reserve. Oh my gosh, guys, Mike Connor back. Where is he at? Congratulations, Pac-Man. And now, offering T218, a 74 Kawasaki Z1900. Comprehensive mechanical and cosmetic restoration, original frame with matching number, in running condition, powder-coated frame. I got 25, 26. Anybody else? So, 25,000. Oh, the Pac-Man, 25,000. Offering now T2, 18.1, 1975. Kawasaki C1900. Restored both mechanically and cosmetically. Original frame and running condition. Powder coated frame. And somebody get $30,000. You want to get 30 bid. You want to get 30. You want to get 5,000. You want to get 7. And 7,000. You want to get 7. You want to get 7. You want to get 7. You want to get 10. You want to get 12. And 12,000. You want to get 15. You better get 17, you better get 20, and 20 bid, you better get 20, you better get 20, you better get 20, you better get 2, and 20 bid, you better get 2, you better get 2, you better get 5, and 25,000, you better get 5 bid, you better get 5 bid, you better get 25, 7, and 27 again, 7 bid, you better get 7, 30, and 30 bid, you better get 28, hey, you better get 8 bid, you better get 8, you better get 8, you better get 28, and 28,000, I have 27, 27, 28, 28 bid, 27, 28, I have 27 bid, you better give 8 bid, you better give 27 here, right? Got 27. Got Chris at 27. I'm sorry. This is un 25. Unbelievable, John. Okay. Unbelievable. The reserve is up. Give 27. 25 bid, you better get 26. I have 25 bid, you better get 26,000. I have 25 bid, you better get 26,000 dollars. Anybody else? Come on. So, $25,000. That's exactly what he wanted. Offering by T219. Last one. Last one for the Pac-Man. Comprehensive mechanical and cosmetic restoration. Original powder coat is crazy. Numbers in running condition. $30,000. You want to get $10,000. You want to get $15,000. You want to get $15,000. I have $10,000. You want to get $15,000. And now his last bid. You want to get $12,000. 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 17, 18, 18,000, you better give 18, you better give 17, 18. I have 17,000, you better give 18,000. Anybody else? Hey, hey, hey. Oh, yeah, John A. Way to go, John. Way to go. 19, bid, 20. I have 19, you better get 20, bid. You better get 20, you better get 20, you better get 20. You want 20, sir? 20,000. 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20
man. My man, you got it. You got it. Guys, John Cabral. I love it. My man. John, you did it. You did it, John. Big congratulations. Guys, he's on Pac-Man. Pac-Man, did I just see your bike that you were hoping to get 25 for? Did I really see a 73 go for 50000 is that a new record? Is that, that gotta be a record! Man, congratulations! Wow! You're the, you say you're buying yourself a drink right now? He deserves one. I think I think dinner might be on the Pac-Man tonight. Holy moly, guys! Wow! Big congrats! I'm so happy for this guy. What's the drink of choice, Mike? Crown apple and <laughs> I'm so happy for you, man. Get, put it here once again. How in the heck? I thought that thing was going to stall out at like 30, which I was happy for you, but then it runs all the way to 50. So amazing. I'm totally flabbergasted. You got a little gas money to go back to Canada now. Yeah, Congratulations. John, I, the motorcycle world is buzzing. We got a million views on Cycle Drag Facebook. Wow. Did we reset the market? Did we really get $50,000 for a 73 Z1900? How does this happen? Yeah, it's incredible. You know, that's we've seen that happen here before. We've seen trends begin. We've seen the evolution of different genres of motorcycles get under the microscope and explode in value. But I don't think any of us were prepared for a $50,000 hammer price on a first year 73 Kawasaki Z1. Granted, the motorcycle itself could arguably be the best in the world. Some people said it was over restored, which I would agree, and I mean that in a good way. It is literal jewelry, which sort of follows a trend that we see in the automotive world as well. Today's collectors like to see things that literally look like jewelry, and that motorcycle nailed it. Now, you said that, will the market continue to see those kind of numbers on early Kawasaki Z1s? Don't know. But one thing's for sure, it's on everybody's radar screen right now, and that's going to be one market segment we're going to be paying a lot of attention to. No doubt. I got a lot of negative comments out there. Of course, people <laughs> that dream of owning them, they say, what are you doing now? I'll never own one. But I, I let people know, the best bikes come to meet them. This is a competitive atmosphere. So maybe that's not uh, totally the price that it will be across the board for classified ads, for private sellers. This is where you're going to get top dollar to meet them. Right. But I would think, you know, for those of you guys and gals out there thinking about Kawasaki Z1, 73 through 75, um, prepared to spend at least $25,000, but I'll give you a little tip, a value tip. If you bump up one year, 76, one year only, KZ900, it's essentially the same bike. There are a couple minor differences, but those have not yet seen the same type of appreciation, so that may not be a bad plan B for those folks on a budget that want that experience. Did I mention there's a lot of motorcycles here? Oh my gosh, more than 2,000. Well, we have given him an opportunity to catch his breath. He still has a much deserved celebratory drink. Uh, Mike, I gotta ask you, after a little bit of a disappointing start with the Z1R and the KZ, we were hoping 25, 27. What were you thinking when this thing hit 30, 40? Just in total shock as it just kept going up and up. And uh, my girlfriend kept sending me numbers, texting me, you know, 27, 29, 32, too. And I didn't get to see it until after, so it was kind of neat that uh, she was just uh, floored that the numbers were going up that fast, that high. So, Does this mean she gets a new purse? <laughs> you no. might have wanted to tell her it went for like, you know, 20. No, maybe now I can buy another bike or two. That is very cool. Well, you deserve it. Talking a little bit about your immaculate restoration too. Some some experts have actually said, oh, hey, that's over restored, but you proved them wrong. That's what they want. They want the shiny Viking. It seems in North America that we do want the shiny. Um, maybe somewhere else, they want the correct parts, the correct uh, big coated parts. But over here, we, we're not able to do some of that restorations. Um, we can't even find a good chroming shop in Canada. Now from start to finish, how long will it take you to do one of those jobs? Uh, it's hard to say, depending if it's in the middle of boating season, I'm not working too hard on them. But sometimes, you know, I take a break and go racing. So it could be three months, could be four months. That's still quick. That's awfully quick. And then finally, not not to have a down note, because there's nothing that can dampen this video, but what do you think was up with it? The KZ900 only went for 11.5. I got to believe that's what you would list it for in a classified ad, or it's, maybe even more, right? It's hard to say. You know, they're both running, driving motorcycles, but they're not a full restoration. So 
they're more of a you know mechanical and cosmetic restoration that uh, somebody can you know I don't know they can drive it or you know still put it in their showroom and look at it but it's hard to say why they didn't go higher a bit perplexing but nonetheless you hit a home run pack yeah. man congratulations cheers guys he deserved cheers. it he deserved it cheers Guys, I'm just buzzing. I'm on cloud nine. I'm so happy for my friend because believe me when I tell you this, I've known Mike Conopaki for 25 years and they do not come any nicer. They do not come any more humble. They don't come any better than Mike Conopaki. So big congratulations. Good things happen to good people and congratulations to the new owner. How awesome is that? And I got a question. For all of you drag bike racers out there that follow my outlet, I know some of you probably have drag bikes 73 with matching numbers. Is this inspiring you to maybe bring it back to the street form, make it look a little bit more like this? You know, it's got to be absolutely perfect to command that. And I don't know that we'll see another Z1 command that anytime soon. That was an absolute unmitigated home run, but I think it's pretty clear that the 73, when you make it look like this, is worth a pretty penny. Let me know what you guys think down below. Also want to know, what do you think about the future of this market? You know, we've worried about the Gen Zs and the millennials not being quite as interested. We've worried about the market going down. They worry about that on the car side as well. But here's some food for thought. Two years ago, when I saw this thing go for 25,000, I'm like, oh my gosh, the Z wants. Could have bought it and doubled my money. Is it, is it in the realm of possibility that I'll be saying that in the next couple years? Could this really be a $75,000 or a $100,000 motorcycle? I don't know. I don't know where we're headed, but I know that this is absolutely awesome. Congratulations, Mike Konopaki. Guys, join me in congratulating down below. If you got any stories about the Z1, leave it down below as well. And if you like this video, make sure you subscribe. The story never ends. we got a lot of good stuff coming. Here's some more for you to choose from. Subscribe right in the middle. If there's anything, faster classic motorcycles, we're in. Cycle drag. Rolls on.